it still provides you what what am i trying to say i'm not a nutritionist the fact is other than sipping on my kombucha did i just spit at you i'm so sorry other than sipping on my kombucha i'm thinking on how to execute this video because of lighting not show you my dishes over there because i hate washing the dishes i will do it i promise after this video i'll wash my dishes i promise Let's just do a sit down in my living room because there's no space in the kitchen and I don't have any furniture in the living room. But anyway, so this haul, we're going to have four sections. I went to four different grocery stores because as a conscious consumer, I try my very best to shop locally. However, sometimes, most often than not, I shop at Walmart and Kroger because of the prices. I am a grad student, so I have to be smart with my budget and for this year i'm trying to eat more plant-based meals and i have in the past for a while actually um reduce my dairy consumption for this first section let's do kroger i wanted to do a quick pickup and they made me spend 35 dollars which no big deal. I'm not going to show you guys the eggs and the chicken that I bought because I think it's weird to show you guys raw chicken on my channel. That's just me. And I don't want to smash any of my eggs because I, I, be, I can be very clumsy. So for Kroger, I bought some tempeh. And when I tell you it's been sold out for a while, it's been sold out for a while. And the reason why I got tempeh is not because I want to eat more plant-based meals. It's because I'm Malaysian and I love tempeh, especially especially when it's fried. Anything tempeh is amazing for me. It's, I prefer tempeh way more than tofu. Next on the list would be hummus. I got the roasted red pepper hummus. I'll be eating this with my raw veggies for snacks or for breakfast because I am lazy. I got some garlic. You always need garlic to fight the vampires off. And also, who doesn't love garlic? Have you stir fry? Have you had garlic chicken or stir fry garlic and onions and some chili peppers? Honey, it's amazing. Ooh, I got these two goodies for free. It's Hint and it's watermelon flavored. And I've had Hint before. It was the time when I used to watch Tati. I don't watch her anymore. And also I have this tortilla chips, grain free and it's vegan. I got some petite purple potatoes. I am going to boil them and I'm going to mash them and I'm going to put them in the oven. I am so excited. This would definitely be my dinner. For me personally, this is a staple and I know I could have made it like veggie broth, but I love chicken broth. Maybe my next purchase I'll get veggie broth, but for this time I'm just getting a chicken broth. I love chicken broth. I this is a staple for me because some days I just want some Chinese noodle soup or even nasi ayam, which means chicken rice, steamed chicken rice. It's amazing. I love it. So I have this in hand just for that. And I'm starting to make my own plant-based milk. And I think you guys would know that if you watched my previous video, but I uh, ended up grabbing some pure vanilla just to add some taste for my bland ass plant, plant, plant based milk. Oh, last but not least, this is from Kroger as well. This is the Lavender Earl Grey Tea. This is the loose leaf version. I'm trying to reduce my plastic consumption as well. It is harder than you think, but my next favorite grocery store is the local co-op. They have a lot of fair trade good ass amazing food but they can be a bit expensive so i have to be really diligent or choosy careful with what i buy so i only got two stuff i got this yummy kombucha which you saw me drink in the introduction of this video this is the bubbly rose it is really yummy and and this is the first time I'm trying the Nancy's Oat Milk Non-Dairy Yogurt. I usually have the cashew yogurt, but I'm super excited to try this. All right, let's move on. The Asian Grocery Store. Well, it's called International Grocery Store, but I just call it Asian because they have a lot of Asian food there. But anyway, 
noodles. I got some noodles and these are different types of noodles in case that you're white and you don't have a diverse group of friends. So this is the flat rice noodle and from where I personally call it kuei tiao noodles because this is what they use for kuei tiao and I love it. And this is a another kind of rice noodle. It says here it's ban pho. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, but if you're a Malaysian, this is not bihun. I don't know what Malaysians would call this, but it's just another type of noodles that I probably need. And this is my favorite kind of noodles. These are glass noodles. If you have not tried glass noodles, go out right now. Right now, pause this video, watch this later. Get some glass noodles. So I already ate this. Uh, this is the locker loker i don't know how to say this i'm dyslexic but this is what it looks like and this is definitely my childhood i'm not the kind of person who eats snacks like this I, generally i'm healthy people think it's pretentious but maybe i am I, it's whatever but my period is like seven days away no eight days away and i know i will be craving I'll be craving for a lot of things and one of it is this one and I'm ready and I already ate like four because I have no self-control. So the owner of International Grocer really hooked me up. I came in and I was like, I need some mango juice, but I don't need like stupid mango juice. I need like a good ass mango juice like you get at an Arab restaurant or a Desi restaurant, mostly an Arab restaurant from my experience. So he was like, try this this is the right, nestle fruta vitals but yeah this is the nestle version and it is amazing and i also bought another one which is the guava the last time i had a guava juice it was i was in malaysia i was definitely not in the us so i'm very hopeful for this last two from the international grocer i got the sambal terasi this is an indonesian sambal and i cannot wait to eat and consume you i cannot wait to consume you last but not least i don't know how i lived here for the past five years and not have this it's white pepper last grocery store which is the fresh foods where they have a lot of produce and they have the best honey ever i didn't buy it because i still have my honey left but my best friend and my boyfriend bought the honey from fresh foods and it's just oh my god it's amazing then okay if i buy it i will definitely show you guys like how it looks like but it's from you know local farms everything local so first up, i got myself some romaine and this is how i store my uh leafy stuff if you want a video on how I store my produce, comment down below and I would happily do that. Some banana. So at my, at the store, they have a section like way at the back um, on bananas that are like, I don't know what to call it, aging, bruising, whatever, but it's not fully yellow. Uh, I usually go for this because of low waist and they are sweeter. Just because they don't look conventionally pretty, it doesn't mean it can't provide you anything good. It still provides you, what, what am I trying to say? I'm not a nutritionist. The fact is to lower your waist and to not be a judgmental a-hole, you can still get produce that looks unconventionally attractive. All right, broccoli. This is a uh, half chopped because I made some stir fry, but I got some broccoli and two zucchinis because I'm making some zoodles for dinner. I need to lower my consumption of rice because I've been having too much of that. Avocados. I love myself some avocados. I'm an avocado whore. And a mango because I'm still trying to, this is an effort to eat more fruits. 
I don't think it's ripe yet, and I'm not sure how to, uh, I usually have my uncle doing this for me or my aunt back in Malaysia when I eat fruits. I'm pretty spoiled, so I'm gonna have to FaceTime him and figure out how to, how I, how to eat fruits. But there you go, there's my grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed this video and please take care. Don't forget to be a better human. Bye guys.